Connor Ben versus Adrian Granados. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? Sup, y'all. Hope you guys are having a great day. First things first, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps with the video. It helps with the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So uh, to those who doesn't know, this fight is taking place on the 31st of July. July 31, 2021 over in Brentwood in England in the UK. First fight or first event or first week, I should say, of uh, fight camp at uh, Matrooms headquarters. Um, they did it last year during COVID. Uh, I mean, I know COVID is still going on, uh, but they decided to revive it again this year over at the uh, headquarters in uh, for Matchroom over in the UK. And uh, and yeah, I'm not sure if there's going to be a big crowd or what. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't really been keeping up with it. Uh, last year, you know, just a few spectators last year. but And I assume it's going to be the same this year as well. Just a few spectators watching. Um, and it's going to be live on The Zone. So tune into The Zone if you want to see this fight. WBA, Intercontin WBA Continental Welterweight title will be on the line. Uh, and Conor Ben is, uh, will be the one defending it in this one. So to those who doesn't know who Conor Ben is still, he's also known as the Destroyer. Son of Nigel Ben. 18 and 0, 12 wins coming by way of Nakar TKO, 24 years old now, still undefeated, still improving, still learning, getting better year after year in my opinion. And here he is coming off of the best win in his career against Samuel Vargas back in uh, April of this year where he stopped him in the first round. It was a very, very impressive win in my opinion. Now he's going in there against the tough, competitive Adrian Granados, El Tigre, 31 years old now, originally from Mexico, 21 and 8. Three draws, 15 wins coming by way of Nakar TKO. Don't let those eight losses and draws deceive you. If you look at his resume, um, you know, got a split decision loss in early on in his career. Um, lost a close fight against Frankie Gomez, a fight where he arguably won. Same against Kermit Cintron. And what happened to Cintron? Uh, Brad Solomon as well. All these fights were close. Adrian, Gren Adrian Broner, he arguably won that fight. The Sean Porter fight, uh, he definitely lost that one. Um, definitely lost against Danny Garcia, that's for sure. Uh, Robert Easter, I um, can't really remember that fight that well. Uh, but I know his last fight, his last fight against Jose Luis Sanchez. If I remember correctly, that fight was a disputed one as well. Uh, I, I remember uh, seeing a little bit of it and uh, seeing how people reacted to it. A lot of people thought that uh, Granado should have won that fight against Sanchez. And now here he is um, fighting Conor Ben. Conor Ben, like I said, he's the one who will be defending the Continental title uh, for the WBA. Um, it's a must-win fight for Conor Ben if he wants to move on to bigger and better things and possibly fight for a world title sometime, I don't know, maybe even the next couple of years if he keeps winning. Um, and if he beats Granados, then I, you know, that would be a pretty impressive win, especially if he beats him in a spectacular way. Let's say he stops Granados. You know, and that's pretty impressive. Granados has only been stopped once in his career, and that was against Danny Garcia. And uh, if he could do that, then, you know, that tells me that that uh, Ben is uh, almost almost there, ready to fight for a world title. The World Trade Division is not an easy... It's not an easy division to be a champion in. There's only two champions in this division. Well, arguably three. Pacquiao, uh, Spence... And Crawford. It's about to be two before the by the uh, end of next month. Uh, with Pacquiao and Spence fighting each other. Um, I mean, I know Pacquiao with the WBA situation is kind of weird, but anyway, my point is that it's not easy to become champion at 147. But with Pacquiao almost on his way out, with Spence possibly moving up, you know, Ben could be a world champion, depending on how the welterweight division looks in the next couple of years. But can he beat Granados? Can he beat Granados? In my opinion, I think so. I think Conor Ben has the work output, the punch output, the work rate to win rounds against Granados. I think Granados will definitely have moments. He will definitely go out there and show a lot of heart and determination and be a warrior and go out on the shield and make this a fight and win rounds here and there. But in the end, Conor Ben is going to win this fight by unanimous decision. Um... Will it go the distance? I think so. I think the chance of this fight going the distance is pretty uh, pretty high. Um, 
I'll be shocked and surprised if it somehow ends up being by TK or knockout either way. Uh, but yeah, it will most likely go to distance with Conor Ben winning the fight. Nine rounds to three, eight rounds to four. Heck, even seven rounds to five. I won't be surprised if it ends up being close. I'm giving Granados that much of a chance that he can make it close. Not necessarily win, but make it close. But it's going to be a good fight. You know, styles make fights. And I think these two guys have the styles to make this fight an entertaining fight. And that's what I'm looking forward to on the, the uh, 30th. Or 31st, I should say. So, um, so, yeah, I'll definitely be tuning in on the zone. Um, yeah, so tune in as well, you guys. Tune in as well. D-A-Z-N. I'm sure by now everybody knows what it is. The zone. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts and comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.